here at Freedom Park, seeing all the different monuments and pictures and words that they got up. Here's Ann Braden, Ann M. Braden, 1924 to 2006. She's a journalist and nationally known civil rights activist. Ann Braden was a key leader in the struggle for racial justice from the 1950s until her death. Although she and her husband Carl were once considered the most hated couple in Louisville, she taught civil rights history at the University of Louisville in the decade before her death. The Ann Braden Institute for Social Justice Research embodies and carries forward her legacy. It's Ann Braden. Dr. Rufus E. Clement, 1900 to 1967. Scholar and educator, Dr. Clement served as the first dean of Louisville Municipal College, the segregated branch of the University of Louisville from 1931 to 1937. So it was the, the Black College. He was the first dean of the Black College, the Municipal College. Under his leadership, Municipal attracted an extremely strong faculty and soon achieved full accredi accreditation. Dr. Clement left in 1937 to become president of Atlanta University. Dr. Free, Lucy Freebert, this is still alive, born in 1922. She's a scholar and activist. Dr. Freebert joined the faculty of the University of Louisville Department of English in 1971 and was a stalwart pioneer for women's issues and gender equity until her retirement in 1993. Dr. Freebert taught the first women's studies course in 1973 and worked tirelessly for the establishment of the Women's Center and the Department of Women's and Gender Studies. So you got Lyman Teff Johnson, 1906 to 1997. Educator and civil rights leader Johnson led efforts to desegregate higher education in Kentucky as plaintiff in the court case that desegregated the graduate school of the University of Kentucky in 1949. As president of the Louisville NCAA, Johnson then launched a campaign to desegregate the University of Louisville that prompted... You're a dick. What a piece of shit. Why the, why the fucking truck people in fucking trucks got to be such fucking assholes? They're such fucking dicks. Seriously. Piece of shit, motherfucker. So as president of the Louisville NAACP, Johnson then launched a campaign to desegregate the University of Louisville that prompted the Kentucky General Assembly to end racial segregation in all Kentucky colleges and universities. So it was his case, Lyman Teff Johnson, that spearheaded the movement in Kentucky to integrate the schools and the universities. Uh, and that graduate case, or that case for desegregation was in 1949. So in the, by the 1950s, all racial segregation had ended in Kentucky colleges and schools. So we were in front of the civil rights movement when it came to integration of universities and colleges. Dr. Eleanor Young Love, Dr. Eleanor Young Love, born 1922, died 2006. She's a scholar and educator. Dr. Love became the first black librarian at the University of Kentucky in 1955 and a decade later became the first director of Project Upward Bound and an assistant dean at the University of Louisville. A faculty member in the School of Education, Dr. Love also chaired the Black Faculty and Staff Association in the late 17, 1970s. Dr. Joseph H. McMillan Sr., 1929-2010, is a scholar, educator, and activist. Dr. McMillan graduated from the University of Louisville in 1950. After a successful career as a public school educator in Michigan, Dr. McMillan returned to the university in 1976 as an assistant provost, professor of education, director of the Office of Minority Affairs, and chair of the annual Black Family in America Conference. He retired in 1996. Dr. Charles Henry Parrish, Jr., born in 1899, died in 1789. He is a scholar and educator. Dr. Parrish joined the faculty of Simmons University in 1921 and moved to Louisville Municipal College, the black branch of the University of Louisville in 1931. In 1951, when the University of Louisville desegregated and municipal was closed, Dr. Parrish became the first African-American faculty member 
on Belknap campus and the first African American appointed to the faculty of a historically white university in the South. So the first African American appointed to the faculty of a white university in the South was here in Louisville. And it was Dr. Charles Parrish. Woodford R. Porter Sr. was born in 1918, died in 2006. He's a businessman, a civil rights leader. Mr. Porter served 24 years on the Board of Trustees at the University of Louisville, four terms as chairman and helped guide the university into the state system of higher education. A firm believer that education is a great equalizer, Mr. Porter supported efforts to increase the enrollment and success rates of African American studies. The Porter Scholarship is named in his honor. So you have uh, Wilson W. Wyatt Sr. I think he was mayor for a time, born in 1905, 1996. Yeah, former mayor of Louisville and lieutenant governor of Kentucky, Wilson Wyatt. Wyatt also served as a member of the University of Louisville Board of Trustees and made the first motion to desegregate the university in 1949. So, first motion to desegregate University of Louisville was made in 1949.